Okay, I'm live. We're live, we're live. What's happening, folks? So I've already started the sketch here because I thought it might take me a little bit longer. So I just wanted to be able to get into the pen and ink uh, a little bit sooner than the last stream. It took me a little while, so didn't want to take too long. We'll see if anybody shows up on a Friday evening here. But if not, that's fine. Whatever. Just sit here and draw. Hang out. Chill. Do my thing here. What's going on, everybody? What's happening? I've already started the sketch, so... Didn't want to take, like, too long on the sketch part. Just want to be able to get into the pen and ink, you know, sooner than later. Looks like my proportions are a little bit off, but no big deal. Going to be pretty, pretty close. So it's not going to be a, an issue. Will not be an issue. It's just a little bit different than the photo. But, uh, it's alright. As long as it looks like an elephant, which I think it does. What's going on, Undertow? What's happening, bro? <clears throat> Just doing some sketching today. Gonna hit the pen and ink shortly. And then after this drawing, we're just gonna hang out, man. I'll probably... Play some GeoGuessr for a little while or something, just hang out on a Friday evening, chilling, just relaxing, I guess. What kind of pencil and paper? It's a uh, pencil. It's just an HB pencil. It doesn't really matter the brand or anything, but as long as it says HB, 2B, B, anything like that, just a kind of a light pencil to sketch with. And I'm using, uh, I like using the toned paper. So I'm using uh, the Strathmore toned gray paper i like tone tan as well but tone gray works really well because i'm going to use uh, some white ink as well so we're going to use white ink for the highlights and stuff and then black ink for the rest uh, so that's the idea i'm going to get into the pen and ink very shortly here just uh gotta i gotta draw some more shadow shapes and stuff so that i feel a little more confident here about the overall uh, drawing. Put in a few more shapes, like the eyes and everything. There's a shadow shape here. Shadow shape up here on the ear. Uh, I don't usually draw too detailed anyway, but uh, you know, it's just this light is really one of the most important things shadow in the light that's what i like to capture so i want to make sure i get in some nice light and shadow shapes if possible what's going on lane yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to get back into it you know trying to get more viewers back and let everybody know that i'm streaming again and stuff you know i haven't i'm still kind of testing things you know today is kind of another test So I, I tweaked my settings just a little bit today compared to the last stream a few days ago. Uh, so I was just still just getting used to it, you know, trying to find the right setup, right settings for things so that I uh, won't have any hiccups. Last time I kind of had a, some loading and internet issues for some reason. I really don't know why. 
had nothing to do with the computer or anything. It could have just been the internet at that time. It's it's funny because the next day I woke up and, and it said like there's an internet outage. So I mean maybe there was problems with the internet, possibly. I don't know. I haven't had an outage in like over a year. It's just like it's so random. It's like, man, like when I want to stream and stuff, I have outages randomly in my area. It's like they're throttling me, this Comcast, of course they are. But normally I get pretty good, you know, internet, really good. I mean, I pay for it, I get good data and everything, so. Should be good. So we'll see. Like I said, I'm about to get into the, the pen and ink part here. I've been, I started the sketch a little bit early before I got on the stream few minutes because didn't want to take too long sketching this thing. Uh, I think it's, it's getting pretty close. Feel pretty good about this one. Hopefully. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, Comcast is definitely the worst. And the the problem is my apartment complex, I must have some deal with them because I have, you cannot choose any other internet. So it's kind of a scam. Because I, I know what I would choose in my area if I was able to. Um, but yeah, there's literally no choice, which is kind of stupid. But they must have some kind of deal with some kind of contract or something with the apartments. So. Like, it's literally a monopoly. I mean, as long as you live in this apartment complex. So, what to do? All I can do is complain. <laughs> complain about it and try to deal with it. So there's going to be a little bit of shading here today. But hopefully I can, I'm going to try to simplify it and not worry too much I'm trying to think to the past when i used to draw and stuff and i never really worried too much about getting all the values super correct and everything so i'll try to make my own kind of structure here all right i think i feel pretty good about that pretty good sketch i'm gonna hit this pen and ink now yeah, this apartment complex stuff, it's a disaster, man. I don't get it. But, I mean, whatever. That sounds good, Undertow. Uh, glad you started drawing recently in the last few years and sold some stuff. It's really good. Really good job, man. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. I need to get like something to angle this slightly. I need to put something underneath because the way my light is, I'm, whenever I'm looking at it normally, I get like glare from the graphite. I need like because I think it helps. It shows up darker for you guys too. I'm gonna put this other sketchbook underneath. Maybe that'll not super sturdy. Hmm. Let's try some erasers. Sorry, guys. Just trying to. That's a little bit better. I think it'll help uh, give more of a realistic effect for you guys too. Instead of having any kind of glare, so I'm just I put some erasers underneath there. That's pretty sturdy. Helps a little bit. <clears throat> do you usually sketch your drawings in pencil first or does it depend on the subject you plan to draw first time joining the live stream well thanks for tuning in hope you're still around uh I, I normally do do them with pencil first before i go to the pen and ink uh because i normally draw animals and stuff like this so 
really need like a, a structure down first. You know, I don't feel super confident just going straight into the pin. Let's see if this is a good pin. Not really. <laughs> I had I, okay. I'm gonna try to put the bad pins off to the side this time. Okay, this one feels good. This one feels okay. Yeah, the other day when I was streaming, I had a pin disaster trying to find a good one. I have like so many pins and I need to, I need, really need to go through all of them. Try to zoom in for you guys here for this part a little bit. Uh, it's going to make it harder to move it around because I got those erasers under there now. That's all right, I guess. We'll work with it. Work with what we got here. Yeah, I got to move these now. That's a bad idea. Kind of messing up my flow. Here, let's make this a little bit brighter for you guys. There we go. I made it darker in the beginning because the pencil sketch is very light, so it's better to see it when the camera is just a little bit darker. <sighs> so how's everybody Friday going? How is... I guess it's Saturday for some people. Okay, this pen actually sucks. Sorry, folks. Let's try another one. <laughs> I don't know about a light box. I don't know if that would do anything to be honest, but I just need like a, I need something to prop it up. But now I realize when I zoom in, I need to be able to like move it around like this. So I just, I just keep stick with what I got. Let's try to put this line work down pretty quickly here. I think maybe what I, I need to do is I think I need a darker pencil instead of this HB. I think next time I'll use like a 2B because it's really hard to see actually. You know, I'm still getting back into the groove of things. It's been so long since I've drawn or done anything, so I'm still getting used to all the materials again and stuff, you know, like what I used to do. Sorry, folks. Try to try to keep it in camera here. I'm trying to stay confident here with my line work. You know, not not be too cautious or anything, but just try to be confident with these lines. All right, I feel pretty good about all that so far. And I'm going to go back and thicken up some of the lines later on. That'll be something I end up doing. But uh, for now, just working on the first kind of first layer. First initial outline here. Just got to get that first outline down first and then go back and... Uh, and we can work on the rest of the line work. For now, this is how it goes. Oh, we have a visitor creeping up here next to me. My cat. I don't know if she's going to jump on my lap or not, but it's usually what happens. <laughs> it 
Somehow she always knows when I start this stream, and she always comes out here. Almost every time. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Got some other people here, finally. Sorry to hear that, uh, non-genius. Yeah, I know, I know how that is. I'm not using a Mac anymore. I got a new setup. I mean, I still have a Mac, but uh, I got a, I've invested in a new computer setup. So that's what I'm streaming on now. So hopefully the stream looks better than it did in the past. That's my hope. Hopefully everything's smoother. There's a lot of different shadow shapes, so I'm getting a little confused here. I'm just trying to keep everything straight. I keep looking at the photo reference here. I guess I should show you guys the photo reference a little bit more. So here's the photo reference. The bottom's cut off a little bit, but uh, don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, that's the reference I'm using, guys. Uh, if you're just curious. So I'm kind of like, there's like shadow on the eye here and then on the ear. And I'm just trying to get all these lines straightened out here. Yeah, my cat wants to come up. Come on. Come here. You're slowing everything down, buddy. Come on. There. Show you guys real quick for all the... There we go. There's your debut, little buddy. There you go. I'm just going to sit on my lap. Boom. Okay. Sorry, folks. Back to it. It's my old cat. For all the new people, she just turned 17 last month. Or half a month ago, I guess. So, she's an old cat. But she's still a lot of fun. What should a beginner draw for getting the basics down? Uh, sorry, I'm trying to catch up on all the... Um, Catch up on all the chats here. Uh, you just draw like anything, anything you're interested in. You know, because every, everything in the world has like all the basics involved, right? Everything like this elephant has like spheres and, and curved shapes and triangles and like it, it's all just draw what you're interested in because that's going to be the stuff that you're interested in drawing. Obviously, you know, you can practice like drawing spheres and like shading them and stuff like that. Like there's, there's things you can do to like practice, but you know, in reality, it's, it's really, I think it comes down to like, what are you interested in? And goodbye, little buddy. She got bored really quickly on my lap. Not very comfortable there while I'm trying to draw. Oh man, my, uh, I'm so dumb. My, hold on folks. <laughs> I was wondering, I, I meant to do this at the beginning and I didn't. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> Got my chat going there. I should have a background behind it, but I, I don't. Uh, haven't tweaked it yet. It's my eraser here. Oh man, I just erased the shadow shape. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, there's a tusk here. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this drawing. Um, can you collab with Scott Christian Soto? Never heard of that. I don't know. I mean, I'm open with collabing with anyone, really. Um, the texture would intimidate the crap out of me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is... I mean, you can definitely get lost in the, all this, all these details, for sure. It's This is definitely... 
a drawing like if you're someone that really gets caught up in details like this will be a challenging drawing <laughs> luckily for me i despise detail so i feel confident I feel confident going into this and uh, not really worrying about the detail. So here's the uh, overall thing. Pretty good so far. I'm leaving the bottom a little bit, you know, not super defined because I'm going to put a shadow under there and then we're going to draw some grass and stuff. So that's pretty much the overall outline. Um, for the most part, I'm going to start drawing in like some shadow shapes and stuff and then start the shading because we got a lot of shading down here but i might shade it a little bit lighter than the actual photo itself because you know i'm in control here so i can do that i can do that kind of thing if i want or at least i'm gonna try that's what i'm gonna try to do I don't know if I'm going to execute it well, but uh, I will try. So you see these little shapes I'm drawing, it's like the shadow. I'm just drawing like, I don't want it to be like a solid outline. You know, I just want to give myself a little bit of reference here. Uh, What's going on? Nothing, nothing much here, man. Just chilling. Just chilling. Crazy Friday today. Crazy stuff happening. But it is what it is, you know? What can you do? Life comes and you have to deal with it, you know? So, that's what we're doing. We're moving on. We're dealing with things. Moving forward, not moving on, but we're moving forward, trying to have some fun, get our mind off things for a little while, get into some art, just hang out. What else can you do? It is a heffalump. <laughs> That's a throwback to the other day, man. The Winnie the Pooh. I feel like we got to talk about Winnie the Pooh every single stream now. It's like it's like a like a terrible idea. It's like bring up Winnie the Pooh and then everybody leaves and they're like, "What are you, what are you talking about Winnie the Pooh for?" I drew a lot of Winnie the Pooh characters when I was young. And I watched a lot of Winnie the Pooh. I have some in my other room. I have like old drawings and sketches and stuff when I was a kid. Seven years old, six years old, probably younger, five years old. The real fans, the real fans around here have seen that stuff. Yeah, man, send me an email or whatever. Um, I mean, I can tell you what I got is not cheap. I can tell you that. Definitely not cheap. And I don't even know if it's like good for streaming or whatever, but it seems to work really well so far. It's like really good computer. It's, it's basically like a gaming computer is what I got. Um, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to be able to stream and be able to like actually use the computer while I'm streaming. You know, there's been times where people like mention something in the news or mention something and I can pull it up and like show it, you know, like show a video or show whatever. So it's been, uh, it's been pretty cool so far. Like the other day this weekend, somebody mentioned like, oh, someone threw a cake on the Mona Lisa or whatever. And I was like, oh yeah, I saw that clip. So I just pulled it up and we just like watched a little clip of someone, you know, Wiping cake off of the Mona Lisa, off of the glass. Didn't really hit the Mona Lisa, you know, they got it protected. 
But yeah, it's it's really cool to have a streaming setup finally. I've been needing this for like two years. I've been saving up money for a while, so finally decided to invest. And it hurt. It hurts. That's a lot of money gone. A lot of money gone. But hopefully it'll pay off. Hopefully it'll Hopefully it's a good investment and not like not like a new car, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully it's like investing in you know the stock market or something. Retirement fund. Alright, so we got all these shadow shapes in here now. Pretty much. For the most part. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of missing are some of the curves here. This is kind of like the critical spot, so I'm kind of nervous to like draw lines across here, but they do need to go in eventually. So I might as well start drawing a few of them. You know, these are little textural lines. Sorry about that. Little textural lines here. You know, I don't need to draw a texture everywhere. It's just like, where is the focal point? And I really feel like right around here is the focal point. So when it comes to all the shadow part down here, I'm not really going to focus on any texture. It's just going to be mysterious kind of shadowing. That's my thought anyway. That's my intention, I guess. But this nose area is really interesting for texture. So I'll try to use that to my advantage and be pretty careful with these curves and the perspective and such. Now, I might not get it perfect, and that's it's fine. I'm not really, like, I'm not, like, counting all the curves and making sure it's the same as the photo. I'm just kind of, like, kind of you know, using it as a reference, basically. It's like, it doesn't have to match the photo exactly. I'm just getting the feel. Like, what is happening? They're getting closer on this side, and they're getting further apart down here. So that's all what I'm really focusing on. And they're getting closer and closer as they go down. And they're getting kind of more straight. So as long as I kind of mimic that, then see, it's going to look somewhat realistic, you know. I'm not trying to get like a photograph here or anything. Just, we're just having fun. We're just sketching. See, and I just, I don't need to put every little wrinkle in. I just do like suggestion of details. Your brain will fill in the rest of it, you know what I mean? Next next stream, a little bear cub with a honey pot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Anybody got any big plans for the weekend? I don't. Just more just working pretty much. Working on videos and stuff. Trying to relax. And you can't really go anywhere when uh, the gas around me, the, ga the gas at the gas station right now is six seventy five a gallon. So I don't really want to go anywhere if I don't have to. Because uh, I can't afford that. I really can't afford to go anywhere at six seventy five a gallon. And that's literally the gas station, like, one-minute walk from my apartment. I can literally see the gas station from my apartment out the window. Yeah, six seventy-five a gallon. You know, normally, California is a little bit more expensive, right? So normally it's been, like, in the past, like, a few months ago, before all this craziness happened, in the beginning of the year, it was, like, three seventy-nine, which was kind of expensive, you know? And now it's pretty much like double. So, yeah. So much for, I would love to have 379 right now, you know. 
I guess uh, saying expensive is kind of relative, right? I guess cost. Cost is, is relative. I mean, everything's kind of relative, right? Like I said, I'm just going to put a little more texture on this part of the face. So this is why I'm, I'm kind of focusing a little bit more here. I haven't even started the shading yet, which I, I should really get into uh, very soon here. Otherwise, this drawing is going to take forever. So I, I'm pretty happy with that so far. I'll probably come back in just to, I'll put a little bit more in here later. But probably not too much more, to be honest. I think that's probably good enough for now. Maybe a little bit more down here. Suggestion of wrinkles and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's focus on the overall big shapes, right? One thing I forgot is this is really important, the tail. I, can, I feel confident that I can just do this with the pen. So we'll just put the, the tail in there, something like that. There we go. Now he's got a tail. Yeah, I heard, I heard around Maryland it's $5 now. My family in uh, Delaware texted me today. They said, yeah, it's four ninety nine here. So it's like, yeah, it seems it, it's pretty crazy that it seems in the rest of the country, it's like at least $4 everywhere. Even down in Mississippi, where it's normally really cheap. Uh, my family in Mississippi, I think it's almost, yeah, it's over $4 down there too. So it's like, it's just crazy, man. So crazy. But, I mean, what can you do? The only thing you can do is, like, buy an electric car, I guess. You know, I, but who wants to buy a new car if you don't need one, you know? So now everybody's just either stuck at home or you're stuck with a crazy, crazy, crazy gas price. All right, we're going into the shading now. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit more. I don't know how long I'll keep it zoomed in that much because I got to really pay attention to the camera when I do that. It's a little more challenging to be the cameraman at the same time. So I'm, I'm kind of, what I'm doing is I'm starting with just one overall tone over the entire Elephant, pretty much. And uh, I'll probably only go over, go back over some parts that are like really dark. And there, there's a few parts that are really dark, like the leg down here, underneath here, and up in here and here. It's like really dark. The rest I'll kind of keep more like this tone, I think. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. So I'm trying to really be aware of uh, what I would like to achieve with this one. Yeah, and I'm going to keep, as always, my shading technique of, of hatching just straight lines. I kind of, I really enjoy this kind of shading because it's shadow, right? Like at least in this, with this particular drawing, it's shadow. So I want it to be not um it's not important really you know what i mean um i want the light to really shine through and be the important area so i know the eye is a bit darker so i can go ahead and shade that in a bit more and this one too And we got we got some nice contrast with this elephant and the nice light so I'm really happy with this photograph
I guess I'll finish the head up here uh, before I move down further. <clears throat> Horse and buggy, yeah, exactly, man. We need to team up with the Amish, you know what I mean? I mean, they're not hurting right now, right? I mean, everything's fine for them. They don't have to worry about the gas price going up. I mean, maybe if they buy stuff from the store and stuff, the price is going to be a little bit increased. And I, I know there are some Amish folk that do buy things from the store. You know, they're not completely off the grid some of them are but kind of becoming more rare to find them that are like completely separated from society now but uh yeah a lot of them i mean they're not driving a car i mean it's probably not even affecting them that much which is kind of admirable at this point in time <laughs> sorry folks yeah, let me zoom it out a little bit more Yeah, I'm not going anywhere this weekend either, I don't think. Wow, it's cheaper at a car wash? That's interesting. Yeah, everything's expensive. It's crazy. I don't know if I asked you this before, but have you played around with alcohol markers? Yeah, I have. I have in the past. I've even used them on uh, some of my drawings in the past. I don't think I have any of them anymore. I think I sold... Uh, I remember I drew a monkey and I used alcohol marker on that and I, it sold. Yeah, here we go. Here's one. Uh, I used like alcohol markers for the background. I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're around for any of these lane, but uh, yeah, I did have some alcohol markers, but they kind of bleed through this paper. This paper is a little bit thin. Um, that's why I started using like watercolor on the background instead of those alcohol markers. And I only used like, I used to use like red mostly on um, my drawings and stuff if I did use them. But there's only a few drawings where I used them. It was not a whole lot. Yeah, there, there was a few other drawings. Um, You'll have to check out my website. Uh, I, have, I think I have a lot, almost all the drawings up there, I think, that I've done. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I don't remember if there's some drawings I still need to add or not. But yeah, I have I have used the alcohol markers. I have um, I had a whole set of like Prismacolor, like a hundred something, and I got rid of them like one or two years ago. I only kept a few. I still have them in the drawer over here. Uh, I have like some, I think I have some blue ones. I have some red ones. Whichever ones looked good with the tone paper, that's what I kept. Because I know I like using the tone paper for sure. Okay, so this is all just shadow except for this little area. So, okay, I'll keep that in mind. So I can just shade here and not worry. Yeah, the one thing I hate, I, I, I don't like to say hate, but the one thing I do hate are colored pencils 
that's what I don't like using at all. It's funny because I bet there's one, there'll be, there'll, there will come a day where I do like them for some reason. It always happens. You know, many years ago, I think it was 2015, I made a video of like, it said why I do not paint in oils. <laughs> and then like that same year, I ended up abandoning acrylics and I started painting with oils. So it's like, yeah, I've made so many stupid videos saying stupid things. And then I end up like, oh, now I'm using oil paint. Now I'm using color pencils. Now I'm using whatever. Even though I said like, oh, I hate those or I'm not ever going to use those. So never say never, but I'll probably never use color pencils. I know a kind of contradiction there, but yeah, I really just have no desire for color pencils. I appreciate them. I like what people have done with them. I think they're amazing. I think you can do amazing things with them. I just can't. I'm just not good and I don't want to be good and I don't care to be good with them. If I'm going to use color, then I'm just going to use paint so much quicker. It's more fun. And I don't like color pencils. That's how I feel. Oh, it's okay to change your mind. Yeah, I guess so. It's true. I mean, you got to be right. You got to be open to different stuff you know what I mean sometimes sometimes you know you grow you learn you change the funny thing is when I made that video of like I'm never I like why I don't use oil paints I had never even tried oil paints like all these years people kept telling me on the channel like because all I did was acrylic painting and I was like always frustrated with the outcome and everything and all the artists that I followed were oil painters and like all the artists that I look up to were oil painters but I had never tried them. I was trying to do oil painting techniques with acrylics. And then I started using uh, slow drying acrylics, which were kind of like an intermediate step, I would say, to using oil paint. And then I decided, um, yeah, I just ended up trying oil paint one time. And then I, I started trying water mixable oil, oil paint. So it was literally like using acrylics because you just wash them in water you know and and then i went into regular oil paint i i, I thought recently of getting back into oil painting but like using paper as my medium instead of canvas because i have like oil paper you can buy but uh i decided against it I was just, I was kind of feeling discouraged because I was getting back into like, I was getting back into using watercolor after like the whole winter of not really doing anything. And I was kind of feeling discouraged, like my paintings weren't turning out well. And I was like, man, maybe I should just go back to oil painting. Like I was, I'm always like questioning myself and doubting myself. But I decided against it. I just stuck with the watercolor and I ended up... I finally got some good paintings after about 10 tries over like three days. So, you know, sometimes you, sometimes I feel discouraged and I just have to keep going, you know? All right. I'm pretty happy with how this is coming out. I really like the shadowing and stuff. So that's kind of all the reflected light shadow. So, so far we have two values with the kind of third one going. We have a third value here darker value so now i can go ahead and put in like the really dark areas possibly more focused around the face and maybe right underneath here uh, maybe back here a little bit too but um you know some of the darker areas are up here so basically i'm just going to layer a little bit more ink in these darker areas and that'll just give it more dimension
So I'm kind of like, I'm putting in another value, another shadow value, which is like the core shadow, the darkest dark. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, in case you're wondering. I haven't really shaded the trunk. You know, these this area is a little bit thicker on some of these uh, nose wrinkles, I guess you could call them. There we go. It's a little bit better, I think. So I think once I put in a little bit of white, I'm just going to put like on the trunk, on the uh, tusks, I mean. It's going to really pop, I think, and the grass will be white too, mostly. It really needs a shadow underneath here, and that'll, that'll really uh, pop him out, I think. What's going on, Mom? Thanks for tuning in. Taught yourself oils at 17, just started using acrylic and watercolor. That's cool. Yeah, I think, to me, I think watercolor is really the most challenging. And I think that's one reason why I've stuck with it, too. Because it's a challenge. I mean, they're all challenging, right? I mean, it's all paint, all painting. So it's all challenging. But watercolor, it really, I think watercolor kind of brings the challenge to the next level because you really have to worry about time, the aspect of time. Acrylics has that a little bit too, you know, I got used to painting really fast uh, when I used acrylics because when I started using acrylics, like first like one or two years when I was using them, I was using them to paint outside like plain air. I was like the only dumb guy going with a plain air group and I was using acrylics like regular acrylics and that it would literally dry so fast and everybody thought I was just crazy but I was able to create some decent paintings using acrylics outside and it really helped me to like capture the most important thing like because I, I was relying on that urgency you know I had like no choice I had to like make really fast decisions it's a little bit darker under here too but oil painting is like so more laid back because you don't have to worry about time really and you could leave your brushes out for like a whole day you don't have to worry about them like drying up when you're when you walk away to eat dinner or something It's just weird how each each one has like completely different world, you know. It's very interesting. But I always feel like so much ur urgency with watercolor. It's like you put a wash down and then if you're planning to do something else, like you got to do it while it's wet. But then like sometimes you have to let it dry a little bit before you go back into it. Like you don't want it to be completely wet. Like so challenging to figure out and then you have to figure out like how much water to how much paint and stuff it's really a uh, a pain sometimes because then you'll get like oh too I, I use too much water not enough paint and then i ruin this whole area and then it's and then it's like well ruin that all you can do is it, it really taught me to like just deal with it you know like, when you mess something up, it's like, well, you just deal with it. The same thing with this pen and ink. Like, if I mess something up here, if I draw, like, a big line across, like, or if I draw a line in the wrong spot, I just have to, like, deal with it. You know, there's nothing I can do. You just have to deal with the reality, you know. helps you deal with life and its challenges because you just have to 
deal with reality accept reality whatever it is so many people suffer and stuff because they deny reality you know they don't accept reality it's difficult i'm not saying i'm good at it i mean it sucks reality sucks sometimes but you know better to try to accept it and you know whatever all right i feel pretty good about this so far i'm gonna stop adding details and stuff soon i'm gonna add in some of the highlights maybe the shadow underneath actually no i'm not gonna do oils again mom nope i thought about it it crossed my mind but Uh, do you think you'd get into old school nib pins primarily? Probably not. I did buy some, uh, like one or two years ago, I bought these like glass pens. I was using these for a while with the live streams, uh, last year, I think. So I might, I might try these again with the ink. So that was pretty cool. Um, they're just a little hard to clean actually, to be honest. But other than that, I really like these like glass pins, but. I've never really liked the uh, nib pins. I've never found a good one, to be honest. Maybe I didn't buy, like, a good one. But in the past, every time I've tried to use them, it's like they just, like, scrape the paper. You know what I mean? Um, they, like, scratch and scrape the paper. So I'm not cool with that. I just don't like the feeling. I'm just adding a little bit of like texture here, textural lines. You want, I, I want most of the texture to be in the light. So I'm not adding a ton in the dark. I'm just adding it in the light areas for the most part. So let's add a shadow underneath this guy. Also in the form of grass as well. And then I'll go back over top with some white grass. And then I'll go back over it again with a little bit of dark grass. So we'll get like intersecting layers of grass. I really should put some light in the background first, but it's okay. This will be, this will be fine. Use a G nib. I've never heard of that. What is a G nib? That sounds like, sounds like a meme or something. It sounds like a joke, to be honest. Shadow grass. Exactly, shadow grass. Yeah, we're almost done with this drawing already. Japanese. Nico G or Zebra G, Japanese style nibs ranking. Okay, I'll check that out. I'm going to type that in my browser right now so I don't forget. Uh, type that in the search. Nico G, Zebra G, nibs. All right, cool. Appreciate that. Have that open in my other tab. See, I like this. Little things like that, man. Just being able to type on my computer while I'm streaming and save an idea. Like, I couldn't do that before. <laughs> I couldn't do that one year ago. So I'm really happy I can do that now. Although I could just like write it down like a normal person. I'm not normal. Oh man, the white pin is going to bring this thing to life. I really feel it. I really feel like the white pin is going to... We're going to get some life here in a minute. Okay, we're missing... Are we missing a line here? Not really. Maybe just a little bit. A little crease down there. Okay, I like that. Okay. Uh, white pen, we'll just use this jelly roll. This should work, in theory. Uh, <laughs> I've had trouble with my white pens recently. Uh, 
Oh yeah, here we go. So this is going to be like the fourth value. And that's really, for the most part, that's all you need to make it look realistic, I think. And we got two values in the dark. We got this darker shadow and then the reflected light. And maybe there's some variation in between there. And then we have the, the tone of the paper. And then a little bit of areas in between there, like texture and stuff. And then we have the white. So we got two in the light, two in the dark. That's kind of the basic structure that I'm looking for. Simplified structure. Uh, I wonder if that needs, yeah, it does need shadow under there. That needs some shadowing. Maybe a little under here too. Definitely under here. Not too dark, but just a little bit there. Marking up this leg just a little bit around this light area. Kind of want this light to pop just a little bit more. So we'll just we'll bring this whole leg just a little touch darker. I think that helped it. You know, since it's that leg's like coming towards us, it's better to have it be a little bit darker. But I think I'm happy with that. It's pretty cool looking. You know, it's, I could add like a little bit of highlights here and there up here on the on the skin, but it's it's tricky. It's tricky. It's very easy to overdo. Um, uh, the only thing about glass is you have no variation of line weight. That's true. You don't really have variation of line weight here with this either. Um, the way to get the variation is what I'm gonna do. You know, you can go back over it and make it thicker like this. You know, in some areas, that's how you get the variation. Or what I'm going to do is I like using this. Uh, this is a brush pen. I like using this one, <laughs> soft tip. It's a small brush pen, and I can get like this is what I'm. This is what I did the other day, and I can just thicken it up here and there in some areas. So that's what we're going to do soon, and that'll bring it together a little bit more. Uh, but for now, we're going to get this grass, the white ink, and this will like illuminate the drawing a little bit more. Bring more illumination into this whole thing. That's my hope anyway. Have you scanned all of these pen and ink drawings? Uh, I normally I normally don't scan them. I'll just take a photo of them. Um, whatever is on my website right now under the shop for drawing, uh, shaperfineart.com. You can check that out. That's, that's all the drawings I have, I think. I think I put all of them up on there. I'll have to double check because I'm not sure. To be honest. But there should be a lot on there. If not, I need to add some because I have like two full sketchbooks full of pen drawings. So there should be around like 40 something. I just sold one the other day, one of my favorite ones. It's a bunny rabbit. One of my relatives bought it actually. A relative that I've never met in person. So it's pretty cool. 
Glad to get the support from folks. But it was it was very surprising to see that randomly. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. I kind of like this. You know, I'm I'm debating putting like just a tiny bit of highlights up here on the head. And I'm 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 really debating it. I think I think before I do that, I'll add the thicker black lines, and you guys can tell me what you think if I should add high like tiny bit of highlights up here on the ears and the head. Or if I should just leave it, let the tusks and everything kind of stand out. Yeah, I have, I've tried that um, hat to tank. I've tried that before, like the alcohol markers. I'm not very good at doing that, to be honest, or shading. Um, I didn't really, when I tried it, I didn't really like the effect. So I kind of stopped because I suck. All right, so we need to be strategic here with the lines that we thicken up. So this is going to add like more variation to the overall drawing, as most of you probably already know. It's just going to give it like a little more interest to make your eyes move around, you know, and stuff like that. You just kind of have to like strategically do it. It's easy to overdo. So just try to be careful here. But I do like the effect. It's pretty nice. Yeah, pretty good, I think. Yeah, I am thinking about making a book eventually, you know, once I get enough like good drawings and stuff that I like. I'd love to make a book of my plain air sketches and a book of like my animal drawings on toned paper. Um, yeah, I would like to do that. And like, like you said, like have little stories or thoughts for each one, like on each page or something like that. How are the sketch pads you were making? So I was making watercolor sketch pads. I'm waiting right now for, uh, cover material to come in. So I haven't made anything yet, unfortunately, but, uh, I'm going to announce that like, um, in a newsletter or something whenever I end up making them but very soon here i should be getting i think it's shipped today i think the cover material shipped today so i'll be getting them like monday i think is what the shipping said so um yeah i'll make my first one on monday my first custom watercolor sketchbook you know, I might end up selling them on my website too if enough people are interested. You know, they're kind of expensive because the paper I use is really good paper. So it's, they're going to be a little, you know, they'll probably be like 30 bucks for like a seven by 10. But, you know, the cover would be really solid, pretty nice. It's like a conservation mat board cover. Um, 
you know. That's the best material I've found so far to use. So Yeah, it looks like there's a little bit more shadows and stuff down here I need to get in here. Not that it really matters, it's just a little more detail, but There we go. I'm trying to get a little more rounded form for this. You know, even even on this side of the trunk, there's a little bit of shadowing, so I could just add a tiny, tiny bit here and there. And it comes down. It's a little bit darker down here. Yeah, but I, I use Arches paper, 140 pound, you know, cold press, 100% cotton. It's hard to find like sketchbooks like that that are 7 by 10. Everybody makes them like smaller and stuff. And and, and it's hard to find people that, that make them uh, ring bound with the ring because a lot of people make them like flat so that when you open it up it's like a big spread but i like having it ring bound because then when i'm out painting i can hold the sketchbook on one side you know and paint um if you have it like open up like a book it's hard to like hold it it doesn't really work um i use arches 140 pound paper cold press It's uh, I'll show you when I make them, maybe next week. The cover material, it's like, um, I have, I have a sample right here, actually. Let me see. Eh. Eh. So these are the colors. That, these are the only colors they had. <laughs> it's, it's matte board. You're supposed to, like, matte a photo with it, but it's very thick. It's 8-ply, so it's pretty solid. It's not, um, it's not thin or bendable. So I think uh, this over here, let me see. This is like regular matte board, like four ply. So you can see it's a little more bendable and stuff. This is double what I'm getting. You see, I'm just punching a hole in it like that. And uh, yeah, this is what the covers will be. Seven by 10. Actually these, yeah, not this one. That's not what I ordered from. That's from a different company. These are the ones I ordered from. Uh, so these are the colors I'll have. I thought it's pretty cool, you know, pretty simple. I wish I had like a red or a blue or something nice, but that's all I have for this like conservation board. It's solid conservation board. Um, yeah, the sketchbooks, they don't have deco edges or anything, at least not right now with the way I'm cutting them and stuff. Um, so... Yeah, I'll show you guys, but I mean, oh, I got, uh, let me see, where are they? I think I put everything in the other room already. I had a whole box. I got a hundred pack of these black uh, ring spiral. It's not spiral, but it's, it's like this. It's like a, it's like a double ring. It looks just like this, basically. So that's going to be the top of the sketchbook. Because I, I like it to be open up all the way, so that when I'm out sketching, I can hold it like this, you know, it's going to be horizontal like that. Um, so yeah. Yeah. And that cover, the cover material is like acid free and all that stuff. You know what I mean? So it's all good stuff. So here's the uh, drawing folks. That's pretty much it. Anybody have any questions or anything? Just let me know. So uh, yeah, give me one second. So this is, this is one, this is not what I made, but this is kind of the idea of what I'm going to be making. So it's going to have a ring like this at the top. It's going to be horizontal format. I mean, it really doesn't matter. I can do this format, but it'd have to be a bigger page. You know what I mean? I'm not going to have this thing on there to keep it closed. So no big deal. But that would cost a lot more to have like a hole punch with the elastic thing. The so mine's just going to be like this. 
and then uh, open it up and there's the paper. And you can flip this back and then when I'm out on location, I can just hold it like this. See, I'm out on location, I can just hold it like this and paint while I'm out, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I like to do. So I'm going to make a bunch of these, you know, I don't know if anybody else would want some, but I'm making it for myself, you know, it's something I invested in myself. So invest, I got a binding machine that punches the holes in the paper. This is the paper I have, not, uh, so it's going to be, this is two sheets of two big sheets cut down seven by 10. This is 18 pages. So you get nine sheets from each page and a little bit of left leftover that I had to throw away because it's so small. So I need to punch all the holes in these and then put the rings on it and the cover material and it's good to go. So that's what it's going to be. Like I said, I'm just waiting on that cover material like this. It's pretty much what it's going to be. Pretty solid. Nice. And, uh, yeah. So that's what it is. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the drawing, I think. Um, so what what do we think, folks? What do we think? Do I do any white highlights here? It's a little iffy, man. So I'll show you guys in the past. I'll show you an, another elephant that I drew. And I, I really, I don't think I could ever top it. I don't think I could ever do better than this elephant I drew like two years ago. And maybe it's just the photograph. But look at this one I drew. See how simple I made everything? I love the simplicity of it, I feel. Um, maybe it's it's mostly in light as well. There's just a little bit of shadow. But it's more, it's more simple. I don't know how I, how I did it. I, I can't draw like that anymore. See, this is like totally different style. It's almost like two different people drew them. You know what I mean? It's not that this one's like bad. It's just, it's just different. I've just, I have a different, uh, you know, I did mostly hatching here, but there is some cross hatching as well. So I don't know, but see, I don't have any highlights here on this elephant. So I'm wondering like, should I add any on this one? Yeah, see, let me see. I don't really want to go too much darker with the shadows, if I'm being honest. Because I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it being more light like that. I want more focus around here, so darker around here. But I get what you're saying. Because that's what the photo is. The photo looks really dark. But I'm, I'm trying to, like, deviate from the photo a bit. You know what I'm saying? SG Johnson, what's happening, bro? I remember you. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just try it. Let's we might as well push it, right? Let's just push it a little bit. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Maybe a little on the nose here, up on the forehead. And then maybe like on the ears slightly, and then that's it, I think. I think that's it, but like very, very little. Because it, it's, I could overdo this like so easily, I feel. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to squint at the photo and just see like where are the brightest areas, you know. It's kind of like right here on the forehead a little bit. I mean, it gives it a little bit more texture too, you know. Some light coming through here, maybe right here on the ear. Yeah, this might help to move your eye around it a little bit too, you know. 
but just giving a little tiny bit bit of highlights here just as an experiment I, every time I draw like an elephant like this I always I never put the highlights on because I really like that other elephant I drew many years ago like two years ago and I always refer back to that one like well I want it to be like that one but I'll, I'll do it this time since you guys asked for it let's you know I not going to be the last elephant I draw, probably. So that's probably good enough. I feel like I feel like if I go any more, maybe a tiny bit down here too. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I think that's. I think we're good there. As I keep putting more down, see, it's so addicting. Once you get, once you do like a little bit, there we go. I think it's good enough. I don't know if it really did add any, I don't know if it really added anything, but it's a light dusting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it would be nice to have like some white in the background, but because I, I think that would really like separate them a little bit. I don't know, I could put like a little bit of white right around here, maybe, or just right around this side, maybe, you know, like going. But that might be overdoing it. But it would separate them from the background a little bit more. It always sucks because if I don't do it, then I'm like, oh, well, what if, you know, like, it's like being addicted to gambling, <laughs> you know, it's like, well, you know, just one more, one more, one more hand, you know what I mean? You never know what could happen. What's happening, Donnie? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we got little freckles here and there on them. Maybe a little line down here. Yeah, if I did like a light on this side, like right there. I don't know. I don't know. Let's stop. Let's just stop, I guess. Just erasing the graphite from earlier. Yeah, I think that's pretty strong, actually. I think it's pretty good. I think we leave it. Yeah, I think we... I think we leave it. Well, actually, adding white here, Mom, uh, would make the rest of the elephant look darker, actually, because it would give it more contrast. And it would separate its head from the background since it's all the same value, but... I think it's okay, actually. You know, if, I'll show you guys through the webcam here. Oh, no, I'm not going to do a dark separation. No way, man, no way. I can't use watercolor on this paper anyway, like a big wash, because it'll, it'll destroy the paper, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, check it out on the webcam. So I think it's, I think it's pretty good if it'll focus. Let me see. Come on. Well, my webcam won't really focus, but yeah, I think it's it's pretty strong actually. Looks really good from that camera. Oh, gold leaf, yeah, that's what it needs. I need some gold leaf. I do have some gold leaf, you know that. No, I'm cool with this one, man. I think it's good. I'm I'm happy. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. So we're just going to chill out for a little while, you know, and just hang out a little bit more. Um, you guys can stick around if you want or not. It's up to you. Anybody got any plans for the Friday evening? This is pretty much my plan right here, so. Okay, these two pins suck, so I need to keep them off to the side. So I don't use them. Anybody got any uh, plans? Okay, yep, no worries, man. Have a good one. Take it easy.
take it easy. I know people have stuff to do on Friday night. Well, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play some GeoGuessr. Let's let's see. The other day I had problems with this, so I want to see if today will be better. Here, I'll leave this up for right now, so you guys can see my drawing while I get GeoGuessr up here. Boom. Bring it over here. And we will. I don't know if anybody, I don't know if we have any uh, GeoGuessr fans here, but it's cool, man. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll turn you guys into some fans of GeoGuessr. You know, I'm just fascinated by the world. You know what I mean? There's a lot of interesting places out there that I think are very interesting. And I like to explore a little bit. I like to, um, actually, there might be some sound in here, so I want to make sure I can hear the sound and everything. So let's start off like simple, I guess. I guess I can get this out of my face now. Oh, thank you for becoming a supporter, man. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to butcher your name if I try to say it. So I don't. I'm going to refrain from saying your name. But thank you for becoming a supporter. I appreciate it. Hi, yeah, I watched I watched him too recently, uh Donny S. Northern Lion. Yeah, I watched him I watched him recently. He's pretty good. He's definitely better than me. I am like super new. Man, this happened the other day. It starts off black for some reason. I'm like having I'm having trouble. The stream this is when the stream starts having trouble for some reason. Even though like I did this on the weekend and I had no problems. So, I wonder what the issue is. There we go. Okay. It seems to be fine now. I'm having, it seems I'm having trouble with my audio. Uh, so, I'm going to have to look into that. The audio stream, stream, the audio stream's current bit rate, zero, is lower than the recommended bit rate. Okay, so I need to look into that later. Yeah, be sure to be sure to like the video, folks, if you tuning in. If you like the drawing I did earlier, I'm just gonna play. Uh, I'm just gonna chill out here, try to figure out where I'm at. Let's see, we got an interesting tower here, off in the distance. That could be a few different places. I'm not sure about that one. Is this, uh, it's definitely not Seattle. Not this, oh, maybe it is. It is US something. Doesn't look like, no, it doesn't look like Seattle. This, is this, uh, no. Where are we at? Is this Niagara Falls? That, that That's stupid. Is that, it's not Niagara Falls, is it? I've never been there, so I have no idea. That's probably so dumb to say. I feel really dumb. I've never gotten this one in this. Um, this is like, this should be like so easy. Where are we, dude? Niagara Falls is like much bigger and wider, right? Like it goes like super big. So I have no idea where we are, to be honest. Is it Niagara Falls? I'm going with it because I don't know what else. Where is Niagara Falls? There we go. It's a, it's a fa it's supposed to be a famous place. So yep, it was okay. Right here in this. Oh, it's like a different view or something. 
We got it. We got it. Okay, this is... This is Cambodia, I believe. Angkor Wat, maybe? Angkor Wat? I'm not 100% sure of where exactly. Okay. And we keep having trouble with... This photo's not loading. What the heck? Okay. Is my audio good, guys? Can you, like, still hear me and everything? Is my audio good? What's going on, Amanda? What's happening? How's the Friday evening going? Yeah, can you guys let me know if my audio is good? Because, oh, now it says, now there's no audio issue. It was telling me there's an audio issue, and now it went away. Okay. Because I noticed on my last stream the other night, I had, like, audio cutting in and out. So I want to, I think this is a uh, Angkor Wat, Angkor Wat, Angkor Wat. I'm not 100% sure though, because I can't really move around much. It looks very similar, but I really don't know, to be honest. Oh yeah, it was. We're just on the other side. Okay. Boom. Killing it. Okay, audio is good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Wow, bacon cookies and cupcakes for later for Jackson's birthday. Well, that's cool. No way. We just got this one. Is this the same place? It's literally the same exact place. Unless it's slightly next to it. Literally the same exact place. Uh, Where was it? Here we go. Angkor Wat, I th I'm, let's see if we can figure out exactly where. We are looking west at a perpendicular base, so we're looking west. So that would make us, that would make us be like right here. If this is the same exact spot. Yep. Wow, that's stupid. Okay, cool. Okay, we know where this is, right? Everybody knows where this is. This is, uh, this is, uh, Miami. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is New York, New York. I'm just testing you guys. I'm just testing you guys. I know exactly where this is. I just don't know exactly, exactly where it is. We are looking at the north. We're on the north. Let's see. We are looking northwest. We're looking this way. Wait, what? So if we look, we're looking north. Okay. Oh, we're over here. We're over here. Boom. It's okay. Don't worry. I see. Don't worry. <clears throat> yeah, it's lower Manhattan. Yeah. Just testing you guys. Oh, this one I'm um I know what this is, but I don't know where what it is. It's definitely not New York. What am I doing? Um so this is in Mexico. This is uh I don't know. Do, 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 do. Up here somewhere. Chichen Itza, that's what it is. Chichen Itza. This El Castillo. Which way are we looking? We're looking south at it. So that means we are here. I'm sorry too. Let's see. Don't worry. Okay, view summary. All right, look at that. All, we are 40 points away from full points. That was pretty good. That was an easy game, though. That was an easy warm-up. I was just doing famous places. Let's go back. I want to do country streaks. I've been playing this a lot because 
I'm trying to pick I'm just trying to get used to like what if what country am I in? You know what I mean? Because if I can't even figure out the country, how am I gonna figure out the exact location? You know what I'm saying? So if I can at least get the country. Now this I have no idea. It could be Finland, Sweden, Poland. Usually when I see places like this, that's usually what it is. So I really have no idea. And there's not a whole lot of text for me to go on. It could be Ukraine maybe too. I don't know. Somewhere in that it could be Estonia. What is this game and how do you play the con? It's called GeoGuessr. So it's it's geoguesser.com. Um, although guesser is spelled a little bit differently. Basically, it, you can pick different maps and stuff and you have to they give you basically Google Street View and you have to figure out as close as you can to where you are um, based on what you're looking at. So for instance, like this, based on the foliage, based on the sun, based on the road, based on anything, based on the, the signage. That has a double dot above the A, so I'm thinking this is like Finland, right? Isn't that Finland has like the double? Yeah. So I'm playing a particular game called Country Streak, so it, you're trying to see how many countries can you get right in a row. So there we go, I got one in a row. The highest I've ever gotten is 11. Um, so I'm terrible at this game. I'm trying to get better. So I figured every time I stream and do a drawing, if I just play this game a little bit for like half an hour, something, an hour, and you guys can guess along too. You know what I mean? Feel free to guess along. And uh, I want to get better at this game. I used to be a little bit better. So now based on this landscape, you know, where could we be? So first thing to do is look at the sun. The sun is over here, which is, if you look at the compass up here, it's in the south. So that means we're in the northern hemisphere, which puts us, uh, this could be like Spain, Portugal, probably. I mean, it could be a lot of places, unfortunately. But I'm thinking just with the landscape, I mean, this could, this, yeah, I mean, they're growing grapes here, so that's wine, right? They're growing olives. I mean, this could be like anything, though. Like, it could literally be anything. It could be like a lot of countries in Europe. It may not even be in Europe. It could be, yeah, it's got to be in Europe, right? Could be Romania, could be Bulgaria. Like I don't know. A lot of these countries I'm terrible at. So all, already round number two, I can't even figure out where I'm at. I think I'm in Europe. I definitely think I'm in Europe. Okay, thank you, Amanda, for leading that. Yeah, it could be Greece. It's true. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just gonna go for it. I think. Greece is probably a good answer, but I'm just not familiar. Albania could be a good answer, too. That's true. There's a lot of mountains and stuff in Albania. There's a lot of... I don't know why I'm feeling like here, but I think the mountains are too tall. I think you guys are right. I think the chat is right here. I'm going to go with... It could be North Macedonia. I don't know, dude. Okay, Greece. Whoever said Greece... Blazing Turtle, you're a pro, dude. Thank you for that. That was a good guess. I was going to be, I was totally wrong, so I appreciate that. All right, let's see this one. Uh, I'm trying to get a feel. Eastern Europe somewhere. <laughs> which doesn't really narrow it down too much. Oh, uh, man. I mean, this could be... 
I just want to see if they're using uh, Cyrillic or not. I have no idea what language that is. Is this Italian? Or am I stupid? That could be very dumb what I just said. I just don't know what language this is. Entry, camper, ingress, ingress. So, so ingress. Ingress means to go into. What country is this, dude? Italy? Oh, you have family in Greece. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Everybody says Italy. Yeah, I think so. I think so. That's what I thought, but it sounded stupid. Yeah, definitely definitely Italy. Porto and all this stuff. Although, you got to be careful sometimes because there's actually a little country here called San Marino, which is not Italy. It's very, it's very tricky. Nova Scotia? There's also this one too, I think. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's part of uh, France. I thought there was something else around here. Oh, okay. I'm going to try Italy. I'm going to try Italy. Boom. All right. Good. We're good. We're good. Oh, look at the look at that. That's cool architecture right there. That's really interesting. Okay, we got a sign back here. Okay, we got some signs. Okay, we're barely moving for some reason. <laughs> oh, okay. There's Arabic in there. And there's like, there's like English too. AE, is that it? AE? Would that be United Arab Emirates? What is DU? I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Dubai. See the Burj Khalifa in the background? So this is United Arab Emirates. Boom. Dude, we got four in a row. I haven't got this I haven't got this many in so long. <laughs> I was playing this the other day and it was just like I kept getting like one, two, one, two, and I would just lose. Uh, and look at this dude, he looks crazy. Okay, we got yellow license plates, so this could either be Oh, well, only some of them are yellow. This is either England or Netherlands. I'm thinking because of the hills and stuff. I'm going to look around more, but I think it's England. I mean, if we could see what side of the road they're driving on. Although they're all parked like that. Although yellow license plates could be Belgium too. So we got to be careful. I just want some text. Okay, this is England, right? Do they they don't drive on the they don't drive on the left in the Netherlands, right? I wonder does Ireland have yellow license plates too? I'm always Is Ireland separate from Yeah, Ireland's separate, but no guesses here, huh? No guesses, folks. I think it's I think it's UK. Oh yes, the yellow license plates. Remember that yellow license plates. There's only in a few places. Yellow license plates. From what I've seen so far, UK, Netherlands, Belgium. I think there's some in Italy too. Maybe I don't know, or or maybe Israel or something like that. This is definitely. This is definitely, well, I don't want to say definitely, but most likely this is Jordan. Okay, there's a flag over there. Definitely Jordan, I think. It's tricky because there's so many times where I thought it was Jordan it ends up being Tunisia in Africa because they, they use a lot of Arabic and it's a Muslim country. Looks just like Jordan sometimes. I think this is Jordan. There is no time right now. What I'm playing, there's no time limit. You can give yourself in the settings on this before you start. You can give yourself a time limit, like one minute, five minutes, three minutes. You know, there's time limit, but I don't have a time limit, but I don't want to like take forever. 
Sheikh Mohammed bin Sultan. I think. I think this is Jordan. Oh, is that the? I think that's the Dead Sea over there. So I'm pretty confident. I think. Although it could be, it could be the ocean in Tunisia too. Oh man. Let's see. What side of the road are they driving on? I guess that doesn't really help much. Man, I'm already at five countries. I don't want to lose right here. Oh, there is a game to guess country flags. I was going to do that one time. We can do that in a minute. Um, that's something I was learning. I have apps on my phone and stuff, but there's also a website to do it. Um, they definitely have that. And that was... Oh, 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 oh. There's a website right there. I can't see it, though. I got to get closer. There's a, there's a, I think it said AE. Is this the UAE? Yeah, because I, you know, the flag I saw earlier, it wasn't the Jordan flag, but it had the same exact, there's so many flags that have um, red, uh, red, black, and green, and white, and they're very similar. But this one, it wasn't Jordan. I think this is the UAE again. I'm going to go with it because I think that's the flag I saw. Yes, there we go. Okay, that's the UAE flag. All right, now I know. Yeah, there was, I think like six or eight months ago, I was learning all the uh, country flag of the world. I like knew almost all of them. The only ones that were really tricky were like the, um, the ones that were tricky were like the, the island nations, like the small islands that you never really heard of, you know? Like Seychelles and... Uh, you know, something in the Grenadines or, you know, it's like, I never heard, I wouldn't even know where these places are on a map, to be honest, unfortunately. And you have to, like, learn the flag, you know, it's like, it's really crazy. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Okay, they blur the sign out. Don't do that, please. Please, I need the sign. Don't blur it. Ah, oh, you got to be kidding me. S-O... S-O what? Okay, there we go, there we go. S-O-D-E with a little thingy above it. N-A-I. That tells me nothing. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so these poles could be... Do they have holes in them? And these bollards here on the side of the road. Okay, this is looking like Poland. If these... I can't see if these things have holes in the... This would be Poland. But I haven't seen any text that... Normally, I, Polish, you can tell right away when I if you see the language. Lithuania, you think? That's the problem, right? It could be like Estonia, it could be Lithuania, it could be... Because the, the language, that town didn't look Polish. It definitely didn't look Polish. The Polish is very, has like W's and Z's and stuff. Lithuania, let me see. Somewhere in there. Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, that's the problem, right? Somewhere in there. Let's see. I just want to find some other, another sign. If we can find another sign. It's either Poland, Lithuania, Estonia. Because I saw these bollards the other day, and I was, I was 100% sure it was Poland, and it ended up being Estonia. So that's unfortunate. Why do we have to be so far out in the countryside? Dude, I'm going to have to make a guess. I really, there's nothing, I wish... Uh, All right, um, I'm not going to look at the chat right now because I don't want anyone to, like, look up that place that I saw on the sign. I don't think it's Poland. It just didn't sound like a Polish town, whatever that means. But it didn't, uh, maybe, maybe it was Estonian. 
No. Okay. Let's. Oh, you know what? I think it was Latvia. See, they have a little thingy over the E. Little line. It only had a line over the E. Oh, good. I'm going to go. I'm going for it. This could be the end. We got the six countries in a row. Oh, it's Lithuania. No. Okay. Good, good one, Space Telegram. That was, that was, you were right. But to be fair, you weren't 100% right. You didn't know for sure. You definitely didn't know for sure. But, well played. Well played. Okay, now I don't know what to do. Um, I really like playing the country streaks. Cause it just, cause the other ones, it's just gonna be too, it's gonna be too difficult to figure out like which city we're in or what, you know what I mean? At least difficult for me right now. I'm learning. If I can get the country, I'll be happy. Yeah, let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. See. Although let me let me look at uh, actually real quick. I want to look at maps that I've liked before because flags of the world, famous place, Eastern Europe, pinpointable world, a learning world, city guesser. Yeah, let's let's do the country streets one more time. Is that that's pretty? I mean. Never gonna. I don't know how I got eleven that one time. I think I just got super lucky. Oh, dude, this looks just like the place we were just at. Wait, this is Norway. With the the road like that, that's Norway with the double lines. Although, kind of, it kind of wasn't official. So I'm not hundred percent sure. Okay, this is Netherlands. Let's see, yellow license plate. Is there any other yellow license plates? Definitely. Okay. I'm confident to say... I think I'm confident to say Netherlands, just based on yellow license plate. And we got the double O there. I don't see any double A's or anything, but that would be Netherlands, I think. Boom. There we go. Yellow license plates. Yellow license plates. Sorry, Lane. I didn't go to the church. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that would did look like a cool looking church though. They're all over the place. Okay, Port de Tudon. Tudons. Bini Falim. CV785. Okay. I have no idea. Spain, Portugal? I don't think so, though. Wait, 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 wait. It was CA? What is CA? CV. CV. What does CV mean? Let's see. Let's look at the sun. It's right above us, but it's pointing to the south, kind of. So we're probably up here. What is CV? I see N, C, M, A, V. What is CV? What highway would CV be? CVB. Okay, maybe maybe Italy. Okay, maybe not. I have no idea. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I think it's either like Spain or something or I'm I'm confused. Is this Albania? Maybe. Maybe it's Albania. Wait, 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 go back, go back, go back, 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 back. Look at some of this architecture. It's kind of too mountainous to be Spain, right? I mean, I feel like... Is it too mountainous to be Spain or Portugal? I mean, there are mountains here. Dude, I don't know, man. I'd suck at this game. I can't even figure out the freaking country. All right, let's go Spain. Let's see. Everyone's saying Spain, so let's go for it. Spain it is. All right. 
We got two two in a row. Two in a row. Let's keep let's go strong. Keep it strong. Let's go quick. Let's see. Where the heck is that? Kachanawaskiego? Is that Polish? I don't think it's Polish. Uh Okay, there's a bike, could be the Netherlands. But there's no yellow license plate, so not Netherlands. Could be Let's see what this what does this van say? Oh, where'd the van go? Ah, oh, come on. Where'd the van go? Not van go. Okay, what is this? Polish, Poland, 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 100%. Boom. Okay, moving along. We're going strong here. We got three in a row. Three in a row. Okay, parking 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. or two hours, no return within two hours. At other times, permit holders. Wow, that is sure a lot of rules. I mean, come on, dude. Who who could even understand what all that meant? That took me like five minutes to process all that. And then I'd get a ticket for parking there trying to figure out what the freaking sign said. Okay, a lot of yellow license plates. England, right? Cranberry, Cranberry Road. I just hope it's not Cranberry College. I mean, it sounds delicious. I want some cranberries. Oh, I guess that's different though. Cranberry, not cranberry. <laughs> um, I just hope it's not Ireland. Is it Ireland? I I'm really bad at Ireland. Okay, boom. I'm really bad at Ireland. I don't know the difference. If it was Ireland, it would have Irish on the sign. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that even mean? <laughs> oh, wow, this is pretty beautiful. I have no idea where we are. Let me look at the... Okay. There's no luggage racks or anything. Believe it or not, you can look at sometimes on the cars if they have like a luggage rack with like tape on one of them, then you know right away it's like Kenya or something or Senegal or something. I can't remember the exact country. I think this is Bhutan. Irish and England? Really? There's So Irish is different than... See, I have no idea, man. I literally have no idea. Irish to English, I have no idea. Even though I'm like part, I think I'm partially Irish, or I think I'm mostly English, actually. That would make more sense. I think this is Bhutan. I think. I never really had many there, but we got nice, interesting looking buildings, very mountainous. We're on the side of a freaking mountain. There's going to be no signs or anything. How do I even get anywhere? We just have to guess. So I think it's Bhutan. Tibet or Nepal. See, I don't even know. I don't think, well, Tibet isn't even a country. Tibet is part of China, at least in this game. Nepal, I don't know if Nepal even has Google coverage, um, to be honest. Well, yeah, mom, I don't know if Steve might would like this game. Actually, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty fun for me. Um, I don't, I don't know if I have Irish. I have ancestry on my phone. I can pull it up, but, um, it, I don't think it said I'm Irish. It said I'm mostly English, like 60 something boring percent. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Bhutan. Oh, boom. Okay, told you guys. Mom, 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up right here. Let's see. Twenty-three May. Here we go. All right. Um, well, it could be. So, Lane, could it be South America? Well, South America is mostly in the southern hemisphere, so the sun would be in a different location. And I actually, I didn't even look at the sun for that one. I just knew the architecture on those buildings. Um, um, the architecture on the buildings looked more Asian to me rather than South American, like the buildings and stuff. So that's what I went with my gut with Bhutan. So this, if you look at the sun, or at least where the shadows are, uh, this one's going to be hard to tell, actually, because... Okay, the sun's kind of in the south. If you look up here at the compass, southeast. So the sun's in the south, kind of. It's a little hard to tell. It's mo more toward the east. So you don't know if it's going to go to the north or the south, but it's kind of facing the south, so that means we're in the northern hemisphere. This is this is a European sign, so we're definitely in Europe. Let's see what this signs. Magones, Magones. I don't know. I don't know what it says. I literally have no idea. Uh, I have no idea where we are. All these signs say nothing. It's all just symbols. Can I get like a sign with words on it, please? It's all like truck symbols and stuff. Who's Kalni? I don't know if this is like... What is this? Oh, here we go. Pit stop. Tavan. Labu Mam. What? What is this? I have no idea. This could be like, is this? You know, once some look at that. Look at that. That is super cool, dude. What's going on, Nathan? We're just. Uh, I already did a drawing earlier, so I'm just. I'm, we're playing GeoGuessr. I don't know if you're into it or not, but I'm trying to figure out where, what country we're in. Look at this bird, dude. If I knew what bird that was, that's crazy. That's. That's dope. See, one that tricks me a lot is um, Turkey. Turkey really tricks me a lot. Okay, fair enough, Mom. You're right. It says... My DNA, it says... Ireland possible, but it says United Kingdom highly likely. And it says I'm 57.1% British and Irish, but more British. And I'm French and German 35%, Scandinavian 1%. So there you go. Broadly Northwestern European 5.2%. So, there you go, Mom. That's the, that's science. So I don't know what to tell you. I guess I didn't get much of grandpa's genes, so. This is, where are we? Somebody help me, we're lost. Okay, this is looking like a very difficult country. It's gonna be like Eastern Europe. Why do we get so many in Europe? Like we haven't gotten any in Africa. We've gotten none in like what's going on, man. None in Asia. I know like Thailand and Cambodia and Malaysia, Indonesia. I know all those. We haven't they keep getting Europe. Okay. Well, we're five countries in. We're just gonna have to go for it. Oh, it was Latvia. We were one away. We were one away. I knew it was some... It had, oh, it had the line over the letter. Oh, why didn't I do it? Lithuanian doesn't have the line above the letter. It's Latvia that does. Dude. 
That was just lazy. We could have gotten that one. We could have got that one. That's that's really depressing. Okay, here's this there's this country again. This is what we had earlier. Very similar signage. And I think it was Greece, wasn't it? So I think I think this is Greece. Just from the look of it. Who was it that had um Family in Greece, space telegrams, or was it Blazing Turtle? Couldn't remember. Sorry, folks. Somebody in the chat had family in Greece. Is this Greece again? I'm pretty sure. Sorry, I got to get the civilization here. Okay. Is this Greece or... Yep, Greece, right there. See the... That's definitely Greece. Greek. Man, that was good. We got it without even... I literally guessed the right thing before we even saw any like signage or anything. Yeah, I'm white bread too, space telegrams. I'm white bread too. You heard you heard my DNA earlier from that was from 23 and me. You know, I'm like uh, Yeah, I'm interested to see your DNA, Amanda, when you get it back to see how different it is from from mine, since you know we're brother and sister, so I wonder how accurate it's going to be. What, what, um, do you know what, what brand or what company you're going to use to do it? I did 23andMe, so if you did a different one, that might be interesting to see how close they are. I mean, we could have different DNA too, you know what I mean? From, I mean, not different DNA, but like different, slightly different segments of different relatives or whatever. I don't know how it works, but I'm not a scientist. What's going on, Mary? Thanks for tuning in. I did a drawing earlier and I'm just, we're just hanging out playing GeoGuessr. We got a lot of people hanging out here I'm trying to figure out what country we're in. We're playing like, we're playing like beginner GeoGuessr, like very easy. Coloriste. Color Iste. What is that? Is that Spanish or Portuguese? Oops, come on. Unique uniquement sur rendezvous. Or is this is this French? Where are we? Why is this whole thing blurred out? Okay, here we go. I wish I could just get some definitive text that was more distinguishable. Oh, look at that, dot B-E. See that on, this, on the car there? It says dot B-E. So that means at least that car, this this is from Belgium. So I'm pretty sure the BE is Belgium, right? Yeah, Belgium. Boom. Space Telegram's got it. I think I think it's Belgium. Boom. All right, <laughs> two under our belt. Let's keep going. We gotta get, we gotta beat this eleven country streak. Oh look, this finally we got an Asian country. I think. Ambil la juokiri masuto. Indonesia, Surabaya, Malang, Kota, Bimkab. Yeah, it doesn't seem like in, doesn't seem like Malaysian. I think this. Yeah, Indonesia right there. It says it. It says it. We got it. Finally, boom. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. <clears throat> yep no worries mary yeah i did a pretty it did a pretty good drawing earlier i would definitely uh check it out if you can check out the stream okay so this um these signs are interesting they look like signs that you find in france 
but it doesn't look it looks like a name so it's hard for me to tell if it's french i don't think it is it doesn't look like france to me it looks a little more northern a little more cold with the foliage why do we keep getting europe i'm tired of getting europe this is so annoying Is this France? This is France, right? Am I... Am I going crazy? I can't... A oh, rue? Okay, rue is Fran French for a street. So this has got to be French. France. Oh! Oh, no! Work! What? I always forget that, man. I forget there's like this little overlap. I told you it didn't look like France to me, man. Ah, oh, tricky. It's one of those tricky spots, man, because it's interesting. If you go down here to Switzerland, I, I look at this. Down here in Switzerland, in Geneva, it looks like French. Look at this. Le office de nation et Geneve. Like, what? This is Switzerland. Like, there's, like, overlap. I think Luxembourg is like that, too. Like, they speak, like, French and German and stuff. Like, come on, bro. All right, we start at zero. We start at zero again. It's so interesting. It's so interesting, that little overlap where the... Where the... Where the um, the border is, you know what I mean? Like where the border is, there's like a little bit of overlap. It's the same thing in uh, Thailand and Malaysia where the border overlaps. I think it's really interesting because you go to, if you think of Thailand, you don't think of like Muslims and mosques and stuff. You see a lot of that in Malaysia, but then across the border into Thailand, you could drive for like five hours or something, I think a few hours. And there's like, you know, big Muslim population. It's like when you think of Thailand, you wouldn't think of that, you know. Or at least that's not what I would think of. Ah, this looks like German or Belgium or stupid Belgium again. No offense to Belgium people, but it just got me in this game. Belgium has got me today. Okay, we're not going that way. That's the middle of nowhere. What's well, interesting, I remember when I went to, um, yeah, 80% of Indonesia is Muslim for sure. It's almost the same thing in Malaysia too. Malaysia is high number of Muslim as well. But they also have Chinese and uh, Indian as well. So they have a lot of different, Malaysia is very interesting. They have a lot of different cultures. Okay, yellow license plates. So we're probably in Belgium. We're probably in Belgium. I'm going to be so mad if it's Belgium again. <laughs> ah, Luxembourg. Look at that. We even said that looks like German, right? Well, there you go. It's so close. Luxembourg is right in between France, German, and Belgium. So you get... It gets this... This mixture. Luxembourg. I think the official language in Luxembourg. I don't even know. I think the official language in Luxembourg. Oh, if I'm remembering correct. I think it's French. Or at least. At least I think. I think. Um, I think. Uh, I don't think they. It's something I remember. I'm trying to think of a video I, I watched. I watched a guy that did a vlog. He went to Luxembourg and he talked to some people there, or he interviewed them. And it's it's an interesting culture. Where is this, by the way? Where the heck are we? Okay, let's look at the sun. Where is the sun? The sun is over here in the south. So we're in the northern hemisphere. It's got to be <sighs> stupid Europe again. And we're in the middle of freaking nowhere. Okay. These interesting poles. This could be like. Could be anywhere. Could be freaking anywhere in the east. 
But Luxem Luxembourgish, the language Luxembourgish, I think it's not even taught in the schools. It's only like it's spoken at home. It's like the spoken language at home. But then in public, everyone speaks like, uh, and I think the television, like TV programs and stuff, they speak like German and French. It's very interesting. Lane says Latvia. Maybe you're learning. Is this from earlier? Didn't we have this earlier? Like very similar poles and stuff leaning on each other. It looks flat and green like this. Was it Latvia? Is that what it was? Because there is literally no signage or anything. And I think I just have to guess. Can't believe this is our first country. I think it was Lithuania. All right, I'm going to go with Lithuania because I don't remember. Okay, it was Russia. Russia. Okay, that sucked. Okay, try again. I can't believe we go from like, we got like six in a row or five in a row one time, and now we, we can't even get one. Okay, we got Visby and Kapil Shaman. Shaman. What language is that, guys? Is this like Finnish or Sweet? Not Sweden, is it? Or is this Denmark? Netherlands, Denmark. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we got the double dots here. That's Finnish, but there are other languages that have that, I think. I think Den does Denmark have that too? No, no. Denmark is more like Norwegian, I think. Oh, it could be Sweden. Got the double dots there. So we could be in Sweden, we could be in Finland. Everybody says Sweden. Sweden. Battle of Visby is very interesting. What is that? I've never heard of that. Battle of Vis Visby. Visby. Uh, I'm going to go with Sweden. Everybody says Sweden. So Boom. Okay, we got one. We got one, guys. We got one. All right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I know exactly where this is. So I've seen this truck before. See, it has this luggage rack and it has like this cargo. It's like a cargo truck. And just by looking at the beautiful landscape here. Um, exactly, Lane. You're exactly right. This is Mongolia. Definitely, I think. I did this earlier in that same truck. It was Mongolia. Wow, look at you, Lane. Boom. Boom. Oh, look at this. Finally. Look at this, we finally got, is this um, Mexico or South America? Man, look at all that trash, that's really a bummer. That's really a bummer to see, you know? But, that's the world we live in. Okay, we got cacti, we got cacti. So that means we're out of Europe, I think. I think it's safe to say we're out of Europe. This is either Mexico, because I'm looking at the sun. It's pointed more, I mean, it could be in the north. It's pointed to the west, so it's very difficult to tell if we're in the north or south, southern hemisphere. So this could be Mexico. This could be South America. You just have to, man, there is a lot of trash over there. That is a bummer. What country is it? They got some interesting looking buildings. I mean, it looks like this looks like abandoned around here. I don't know why it looks so abandoned. Like, it looks like nice, like nice buildings at least. Like, they don't look that run down or anything. I mean, a little bit, but it looks like under construction to me. Where is this? Does Brazil have desert? I don't know. That's the Brazil is so tricky because they they speak Portuguese, so their language is a tiny bit different. Oh, we're in the Middle East. Okay. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking it could be Middle East, could be Africa. This could be Tunisia as well.
I'm just trying to get to this little town center here to find another sign or a flag or something. Or at least more people so I can see what color their skin is. Try to guess off of that. Guess off of something. Okay, is that a church or a mosque? Probably a mosque. But you can't really tell. Where are we? Okay, I think I'm... Man, I'm really, I'm really, there's a lot of English here too. Cafe. I'm just wondering why is there English? Why is there English? Egypt, I don't think Egypt has, uh, Egypt does have Google coverage, but I don't think it has a lot. I know the pyramids are on Egypt. Oh, you could be right, you could be right. But I'm 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 torn. I just don't know if this is Tunisia. It could be Tunisia. And I'm trying to get to like the city center here, somewhere, something. I don't really. Okay, here we go. A little bit more here. Not that it's gonna help. Yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's Tunisia. I'm not seeing a lot of African folks, so that makes me think I don't know, is Egypt yeah, Egypt is hmm. It could be Jordan. Sorry, I was moving around too quick. I haven't seen any French. Maybe you're right. Maybe it wasn't um, wasn't English. It was French. I mean, this could be Tunisia. Do people look African in Tunisia? Iraq? I don't think Iraq has Google coverage. Yeah, you're right. Is that that's French, right? All right, let's go with it. Let's go with Tunisia, because I don't know. I think you're right with that. That's a good guess. Yep, boom. All right. Good work, space telegrams. Sorry, I move around too quick sometimes. I get too impatient. Okay, right away, with the road, with these dotted lines on both sides, that tells me very high likelihood that this is Norway. Like super high likelihood, like 98%. I would say 100%, but I'm not that confident, but I'm going to go with it. Let's not waste any time. There we go. Good to know some of those things sometimes. Okay, we have interesting... We have interesting uh, sign right here. Okay, we have dot com, so that doesn't help. I need to learn these telephone codes. That's what I need to learn next. There's a, too many to learn, but that would be very helpful. Like 254, I see this all the time. It would be so helpful to know. You think this is Kenya? Oh, you're right with the, uh, the thing on the car right there. You are absolutely right. That's Kenya, boom, that little black thing. I'm pretty sure I'm in agreement with you. Yep. Yep. Oh, the sign said Kenya. I didn't even. I didn't even. Uh, I didn't even read it. <laughs> I didn't even read it. But I know that little black thing on the car in the front is Kenya. If it has a luggage rack with a black thing on the front, it's Kenya. Let's look at the car. All right, this is China. Let's see. Yep. Pretty sure it's China. 
If it's not China, I'm going to be really upset. What? Am I stupid? Oh, it wasn't the Chinese flag. It wasn't even the Vietnam flag. It was like a... What was that? What flag was that? Why can't I go back? That's depressing. That is depressing. That's depressing. I, I, I want to know where that was in Vietnam. What was that? What were those flags? That was a Soviet flag in Vietnam. There was a whole ring of them in Vietnam. That had to be... That had to be near China, right? That wasn't the Vietnamese flag. For sure that wasn't. That was the sickle... That was the hammer and the sickle. That was like the Soviet flag. What? I did not know that. I'm... I'm I, I don't know. I'm speechless. I, I'm... I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Okay, where are we? We're stuck in like a... Okay, they definitely look like they were making out or something, and then this guy just rolled up taking photos. It's kind of weird. Okay, um, we're definitely inside like an old ancient church or something. Where is this? Spain? Castillo down here at the bottom. Castillo. It could be Portugal too. That's what always sucks. I'm going to go with Spain. Oh, wow. I'm way off. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, okay. It was Spanish. I forgot. There's a lot of other Spanish countries, not just Spain. <laughs> well, I would definitely wouldn't have guessed that. Guatemala? Come on, dude. Yeah, you guys were way off Greece, Pompeii, Rome. Yeah, that was... I was thinking the same thing at first. I, I, I literally thought, okay, Italy. And then I remembered, okay, there are some uh, Greek stuff like that in Turkey that I always get wrong. So I was like, I was like, okay, it could be Turkey. And then when I saw Spanish, I was like, it's got to be Spain. No. Guatemala. I didn't know they had like, I didn't know they had like stuff that looks like that in Guatemala. I had no idea, to be honest. Okay, this language. I don't think it's, oh, wait, 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 there's a flag right there. Look at the flag. I'm pretty sure that's Thailand. Let's click it and double check. Let's see. Okay, down here, there's the flag. Yep, Thailand. It's got to be. I was about to say the language doesn't look like Thai. It looked like it looked like Cambodian, to be honest, and I was completely wrong. I feel stupid. I, I've been learning just in the last like one or two days. I've been learning, trying to learn the difference between Thai and Cambodian, and it is so subtly different. It is insane. Cambodian is just a little more round, like, like rounded, and Thai is more vertical. And it's, it's sometimes on certain signs, and depending on what it says, it's really difficult to determine. Oh, I've had this before, and I don't remember where it was. We're on a raceway somewhere. I've had this before. Does anyone know this raceway? I've had this before. I've been here before. It's like deja vu. Let's just keep going around until I got to find a sign, right? It's got to be like a country sign or something. They can't expect you to figure it out like with nothing, right? I mean, got to be something here. Spielberg? speedweek.com this would be faster if I had a race car okay wait there was a sign back here Red Bull ring ring Spielberg 
213. Okay, 213 is LA. I know this is not LA. Okay, there's an interesting ambulance. Where is that from? What country is that ambulance from? Does anyone know? I really want to say this is like Spain or something, but I think I'm wrong, to be honest. Oh, it's in Germany. I'm going with it. You guys know what you're talking about. <clears throat> okay, it's Austria. You guys are wrong. I'm never listening to you guys again. I'm just kidding. That's pretty close. Austria, Austria is tricky too because they have a lot of German, or it looks very German. So good try, good try. You you guys are better than me. Wait, wait, no, I don't want to play again. Let's do um. We're gonna we're gonna do competitive right now. So we're gonna play against some other people. We're gonna play. We're gonna do countries. We're gonna guess countries, but we have to guess other people against we got to beat other people so there's like 10 people but only nine people are going to make it so this is kind of timed we're on a time limit here so it's a little more stressful but we've we've been practicing a lot right so i feel confident in you guys I th okay there's a double k there in that sign so i think this is like finish maybe let's see what did they guess what did people guess? Nobody guessed Finland. Someone guessed Norway. It's not Norway. It's gotta be Finland. Yeah, okay, we got it. We got it right. We're into the next round. Exactly, Candy. Exactly. Finland. We got it. I was trying to see this sign here, but it was too blurry. Can't get... Um... We made it to the next round. We were third. We came in third at the top here. If you guys want to add me on GeoGuessr, uh, if you guys end up playing, if you guys ever want to play it or whatever, you can add me as a friend on here. My name is Schaefer Art. You could probably find me, like, if you just type in the search, like, in GeoGuessr, you type in uh, Schaefer Art, you can add me as a friend, like... Oh, that is really loud. Sorry, guy. <laughs> it sounds, like, really loud. Let me turn that down a little bit. So if you guys ever want to play with me or against me or whatever, or that's cool too. Where is this dude? Okay. People guess Brazil, America, and Australia. Those are wrong. It's not Brazil. It's not America, not Australia. Okay, one person got it right. Where are we? Is this like Latvia? I don't even know if I'm in South America. Okay, this is like tropical type plants, I feel. This could be... Dude, I don't know. I got a guess though. I got three guesses. Um... Uh, Poland? Okay. I think it's in South America, to be honest. Okay, I got to do 50-50 or I'm going to lose. Oh. Okay, South Africa or Botswana? I have no idea. I have no idea. South Africa. Oh, I made it. I made it. But I, I lost my... Um, I lost my 50-50, so that's going to be tricky. Okay, there's four people left. Oh, what is this flag? What is this flag? Is this that's not a country flag. That's not a country flag, is it? No. Okay, what's this beer say? Oh, oh. Tool. I don't know what that means. Um. Oh, somebody already got it right. Give way. Oh no. Oh, New Zealand. New Zealand, maybe. <laughs> oh, I made it. I just, right at the last second, I had this feeling. It just felt, it felt like I was in Australia. And I, I thought New Zealand. Okay, this is, 
This is, this is. Jordan, Jordan, right? Jordan? Is that the Dead Sea or is this Turkey? Oh, crap. Or is it Tunisia? Oh, Tunisia. Oh, I'm in the top. I'm in the top three. Okay, okay. We could do this. We can do this. I have yet to win a game at this, so I'm, I'll be happy if I can win. Oh, of course they give us something impossible. What is this? Okay, got to be South America, I think. I don't think we're in Asia. Could be in Asia. I don't know. Nobody's guessing. Okay, palm tree. Oh, crap. Where are we? Oh, 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 oh I got to guess. I got to guess. Uh, I got to guess. I have no idea. Colombia, Colombia, Colombia. Oh, crap. Where are we? What did he guess already? What did he already guess? Oh, he's out. He's out. Uh, crap. What is it? What is it? Mexico. Oh, it was Mexico. I'm in the top two. I'm in the top two. Holy crap. This guy's probably good, too. He made it all the way to the end. Oh, my God. Where is this? I have no idea. Oh, we just saw signs like this earlier. Where is this? You, Bhutan, 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 Bhutan. <gasps> it's not Bhutan? What? India. Oh, crap. It's not Myanmar, Myanmar. Uh, Russia, 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 Russia. Wait, wait, wait. Kyrgyzstan, maybe? Did he pick Kyrgyzstan? Oh, wait, he already lost. He already lost. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. Italy? Kyrgyzstan. It was Italy. You guys are right. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Oh, it's a redo now. It's a redo because we both lost. I'm so dumb. That sign, you're right. That was, that was Italian. Oh, wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's either Malay or... It's either Thai or Cambodian. It's either Thai or Cambodian or Lao. If I can guess before him. I won! I won! Heck yeah, dude! It's the first time I ever won. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Okay. Alright, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> that's enough. That is definitely enough. Uh competitive for one day. That's enough stress for me. Whew. We might as well stop while we're on top. You know what I'm saying? Stop. Ah, oh. I, I should have won that. It, that did not look like Italy to me, though, with all those mountains and stuff. That must have been like way northern Italy. It looked like Bhutan. And the guy, I saw him, he, he guessed Myanmar. So, like, he had the same idea as me. He was right near Bhutan, so... Can't believe that. That was incredible. Can't believe I won that. That was so easy with that blue sign. It could have been three countries. It was either Thailand, Cambodia, or Lao. They're the only ones that have that have um, script like that. And you have three guesses. So you're, you're bound to get it right. You just have to guess as quickly as possible. And he wasn't even guessing. So. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. All right, let's play something easy. Let's do famous, famous places, guys. Famous places. Oh, great. This person's back. Let's block this person in the chat. Sorry, folks. One second. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, Trento, it's in Northern Italy. Okay, I'll remember that. I'll try to remember that. No worries, Amanda, don't worry. I got it. Luckily I can do it now, because my computer is 
Ah, oh, we've had this, man. We've had this so many times. This is Angkor Wat, which is in Cambodia. Okay, we're having we're having some loading issues right now. I don't know why. There we go. <clears throat> which is Angkor Chum, right down here. Angkor Wat. Let's try to get the exact location. So we are looking east, directly east at the side of it. So if we are looking east, we are looking from over here. I think we're maybe, are we on this terrace or we're here? Maybe we're here. Okay, we're right there. Pretty close. Only one point off. No big deal. I'm glad you're getting hooked, Mary. This is it's pretty fun, man. I, I you know it's cool seeing it's cool because you get to like travel around the world and see places, but it's also like fun because you're learning as well, like what country is this and like where is it at. But I, I'm playing kind of the easy version, you know. I'm playing like what country are we in? Okay, this definitely has to be Rome, Italy, right? This is definitely Rome, Italy. Or Greece. I think this is Greece. Nah, I'm kidding, folks. This is Washington, D.C. Joking, I'm joking. I know exactly where this is. I've been here many times. This is the Lincoln Memorial. We are right... somewhere... here. There we go. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding with you guys, man. I'm kidding. I'm just... I'm... I want to see what you guys know. That's all. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Okay, this is a famous place, so I really don't know, to be honest, but it's got to be like the Vatican, right? Is this the Vatican? I can't even move around. So I'm, I'm thinking... I have, no, I have no idea what else it would be. So, I'm going to go for it. Yeah, I don't think it's the Vatican either. Uh, but I have no idea what else it could be, so I'm going to learn. Okay, there we go. It's in Spain. Oh, I've had this before. It's Cordoba. Okay. It is... Mezquita Cathedral de Cordoba. Okay, so it's Cathedral in Cordoba. Okay. Yeah, I knew it wasn't the Vatican, but I had literally, I wouldn't have guessed that. So, I suck. Yeah, I knew just by looking at it, it wasn't the Basilica or whatever in the Vatican. Okay, this is... This is in, is this Vienna? Is this Vienna right on the river and this is the thing in Vienna let me double check oh maybe not yeah we're playing a really easy map right now too we're playing famous places so I'm trying to play this one a lot so that I learn a lot of the famous places so when I play like a regular game, I can easily, I can't even move around. Oh yeah, I can. I can move around, but now I don't know where I'm at. I'm like inside of the building. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we're right on a river. Is this? What is this? Where are we? Oh, oh. Okay, that's in English. That doesn't help. I don't know where we are. We're on a river. There's a green... What's the green dome place? Is this France? It's not... Is it France? It doesn't look like France. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Definitely... St. Peter's. 
The <laughs> That's funny, Mary. <laughs> yeah, most of these cities look alike, man. There's so much there's so much similar architecture. It's like but this is a famous place. This should be easy, guys. Let me get through this crowd of people. I want to make it to the other side of the river here. Because, uh, I mean, it's not going to help because I still don't know where we are. I wonder if this guy's shirt says anything. Uh, I thought maybe there'd be like a tourist wearing a shirt from around here. I, uh, is, is there nothing right here on the river? In Vienna? Is it this church? It's got to be. I'm going with it. Uh, dang it, man. It's Prague. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. This is a country I really don't know anything about. I really don't know anything about Czechia. So, I mean, I don't know anything about Austria either. So th this is where, like, this half of the map, once we get into the eastern... Countries, I'm lost, man. Okay, I think... I think this is like... Uh, where is this at? Come on, guys. We know this. This is like too easy. The problem is finding it on a map. Where is Stonehenge? Do you guys know where Stonehenge is? Can you find it on a map for me? Okay, here's Bath. I know I remember driving. I'd driven this know this because I've driven it. I've driven to Bath. We were south before that. We were in Glastonbury. Okay. There's Glastonbury. And we were it's to okay Salisbury. Okay, I know it's near here. Yeah, you saw someone paint here once. Well, I painted at Stonehenge if you're talking about me. Here we go. Stonehenge. So how close can we get? Let's see. I guess I'll just put it right there because they, they don't really show you where the stones are. Okay, view summary. How good did we do? Wow, we did kind of crappy. Only 15,000 points out of 25,000. Okay. All right, should we go with a di more difficult map? You guys want to try a difficult map? Like maybe like world cities or something? I got to get off here soon. Let me see what time it is. Yeah, it's already eight something. I'm going to get off here shortly, guys. I'm just, I'm getting hooked on playing this right now because it's, it's fun. Let's play like, maybe like world cities. Or a, uh, City guesser. Let's see. We'll do something challenging here. Although it says this map is easy. Sorry, Mary. This will be a lot. will be the last one. This will, this will probably be the last map, and then I, I got to get off here. It's Friday night, you know. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, which city is this, folks? Got to figure out what city are we in, and then we got to figure out exactly where we are in that city. Is this America? Uh, let's look at the license plates. Yeah, well, this is definitely either Canada or America. Is this... Where is this? Okay, well, okay, here we go. Interstate five. Okay, so this is this is uh, Portland, right? Yeah, there's a river down there. So this is either Portland or this is Seattle. Okay, a lot of homeless encampments here. Because we're, we're by Interstate 5, so I know that goes from L.A. all the way up to Seattle and actually further. But I know that this... 
I don't know if this is Seattle or Portland. <laughs> Pouring another glass of wine. Yeah, see, we got Interstate 5. So if we look at Interstate 5, that goes right up here. So it goes... So it could be... This could be Portland, or this could be... I don't think it's Tacoma. It could be Seattle. Um... Doesn't look like Southern California to me. A little too hilly, I think. There's water down there. So this could either be, I think it's Portland. Mary says Portland. Sounds good, Amanda. Okay, someone says Seattle. All right. See, it's tricky. It's tricky. This is a tricky one. Let's keep going. Let's, let's. Let's try to, let's not just guess. Let's try to really make it solidified here. Oh, there we go. Seattle Skyline's new icon, the net. There we go. Yeah, but San Francisco isn't along Interstate 5. San Francisco is a little ways away from Interstate 5. So Interstate 5 is down here in the middle. San Francisco's over here. Uh, and I know what San Francisco looks like pretty well. I live right near it, so yeah, this, I guess this is Seattle. I would have never, I really thought it was Portland, to be honest, but I don't know where, okay, here's 4th Ave. I saw 4th Ave earlier, and I saw Cherry Street, so if we can find Cherry Street, which is going to be pretty difficult, because 4th Ave probably goes for a long way. Let's see, where are we at right now? Third Ave and Marion, Marion. So here's Fourth Ave, First Ave, Second Ave, Third Ave, Marion Street. This could be in a whole different part of town too, actually, and it probably is. Okay, great. I might not be able to find this exactly. I may have to just give it a guess. I don't know. Oh, Cherry Street. Here we go. Cherry Street and 4th Ave. Let's go back to where we started. Because that's where we need to find out. We need to find out where we at right now. And I think I went up initially. So going up is 5th and Cherry. So we have Cherry. And then we have 2nd. We have 5th. So we are, we are on Cherry Street between 5th and, let's just confirm it, 4th Avenue. So we are right here, folks. Look at that. Look at that. That's how, that's how crazy this game can get if you want to find out exactly where you are. And that's how we got 5,000 points. Boom, we got exactly where we were. Let's see, what does this bridge say? So we could be anywhere in the world. We're, we're in any city in the world. So this looks Spanish because we have an Y in the middle for and. Something and something. So I know it's Spanish, which doesn't really pare it down at all. That's an interesting looking bridge. Selectivo. Oh, I've had this before, many months ago. I remember this. I remember this intersection many, many months ago. And I don't remember where it was. Ecuador? Let's see. Ingreso al... Puente, this doesn't help me at all. Gale. You might be right on Ecuador. I know there's only some countries that use Kale. Kaye, I guess. But I, I don't know I don't know which ones do actually, and I don't know the difference. 
but I know there is something like that. Yeah, I used to play this many months ago. I would just sit here for like an hour. I would sit here for like 20 minutes trying to figure out exactly where I am, like reading everything I could. I mean, you could sit here and just go crazy trying to figure it. But you know, when you're learning like this, like in the beginning, you could, you could like Google some stuff, you know what I mean? You could try to figure out like, oh, what's the phone number area code? Like if you see, if you see the phone number code, you could Google it and then at least find the country and then try to find out on your own, like try to figure out the country on, or like the, the city on your own if you learn what which country you're in. So, you know, everyone's different of how you, how crazy you want to get trying to figure this out. I think I'm gonna have to guess here. Otherwise I'll be, I'll be. Oh, oh, there's a flag up here. Oh, uh, what flag is that? Okay. I think next time I stream, we're going to do like a, we're going to do like a quiz for like, um, country flags of the world. We're definitely going to do that. Cause you see flags all the time. I think that's, I think that's Colombian. I want to say that's Colombian flag, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. It could be Ecuador too. I'm just going to say we're, I'm going to say we're in between Colombia and Ecuador. I'm going to put it right on the border. Cause I, I'm not sure. It was Ecuador. Mary, you're right. You're pro. Okay. Gaia Quill. Gaia Quill. Kill, I guess. I don't know how to say it. Not Spanish. Okay, three more three more rounds and then and then we'll call it a night, I guess. I'm glad I'm glad you're hooked, Mary, because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing this on future streams too. This is like this is a game I really want to get good at and just have fun. You know, this is fun, man. Thanks everybody for sticking around and just hanging out, you know, even if all the lurkers not in the chat, you know what I mean? Everybody just hanging out. Really appreciate it. Okay, so I think we learned earlier this is Italy, right? Teatro Libro Augusto. This is Italy, but where? Yeah, we have Italy, Italian flag there in the window. So this is definitely Italy. So what what city is this? Oh, we got some Chinese food. That's cool. I'm getting hungry. Okay, definitely Italy. But where? I have no idea. I really have no idea, and I really don't know how to find out. Ven Venezia? Find me a landmark, that's what I'm saying. Oh, Venice, is it Venice? Venice, Venezia, Venezia. That's that's could be true. We got some smart people in the chat, that's for sure. It's definitely not me. This could be Venice, actually. It's just it's just not the Venice you would think of. You know, I don't know if it's. Venice, Venice? Is it like, maybe it's like over here? Or... Yeah, I don't see any canals either. That's what's throwing me off here. I just need like a sign. I need like a, I need like a road sign. Like this. But that doesn't help. We need like a, we need like a, a blue, you know, like this town is that many miles, this town is that many miles. We need something like that. And we're just stuck in the middle of the city. Eh, commercial zone, attention, traffic, difficult, blah, blah, blah. That's great. 
I mean, it looks really beautiful. It looks really nice. I like to walk around here. I mean, look at that. You can do some plein air of these buildings and stuff. Okay, here we go. You got a museum. You got some silos or something. I don't know what that means. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's Venice. Oh, what is this? Montevideo? Okay, we're definitely Italy.it. We know it's it, Italy. Milano? Is that a... Is that a... Milan? Is that a thing? Milano is a... Is Milano a... a... <laughs> They're Googling. <laughs> Everybody's Googling. Yeah, I know. Venezia. I mean, Venezia could be Venice. It could be. I, I don't know. I mean, we could be... We could be on like a island out here we don't even, i have no idea it could be catalina could be all right we'll go with milan i don't think it's milan but uh we'll go with it okay it's milan we were right across town that's pretty good pretty good i'll take it i'll take it we got the city right Okay, something Victoria. Galleria Victoria. Para. Okay, so this is Spanish. This guy has a flag on his shirt, although I think that's Tommy Hilfiger. I don't think that's a... <laughs> I don't think that's a um, country flag. Okay, um... So it's Spanish. Let's try to figure out where the sun's coming from. So look at the sun. Sun is in the south? Really? Oh, uh, it's in the west. So it's kind of hard to tell. This is probably South America. I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, this is Brazil. Colegio de Sao, Sao Bento. Yeah. That's, this is Brazil. Here we go. Kitty's back. Huh. Is it time for me to feed you? It's almost dinner time for little buddy here. Okay, this is Brazil. This is Portuguese. I'm, I'm pretty confident. Just from seeing that one thing. Yeah, Ultima Saida. Tun, tun, yeah, I mean, I don't really know, but it's like a weirder Spanish. I'm thinking Brazil, and I'm thinking <sighs> I got cat hair all over me now. Oh gosh, I need to brush you. Okay, there's a lot of sal everywhere. So sal. Sao what? What was it? Sao... What did I say it was, guys? I lost it. Sao Bento. What does that mean? Okay, I, it's... I'm, 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 I'm kidding myself if I'm ever going to find that, right? So I think... I, I think we just... We're just going to have to guess somewhere down here. Because Brazil is so big, dude, it's, I mean, we'll never find it. Oh, I was pretty close. Okay, so it was really right in Sao Paulo. That's what I should have done. Okay. It's good to know. Okay, last round, guys. Last round. Let's make it count. Let's make this one count, guys. Oh, so easy. This is so easy. Istanbul. University. Man, I thought we would get a harder one on the last one. But we have to find where the university is. Let's try to find that. Let's try to get as close as we can at least. I mean, it's going to be pretty difficult. 
but we know we know it's in Istanbul, which I I would love to go to Istanbul in the next few years. Auto park, okay. There's a car park. Fasuli, okay. Bali Lokantasi. Okay, this is not helping at all. Is there like a street sign or something? Another auto park. I mean, it doesn't look like we're like in a in the big part of the city. You know what I'm saying? What a disappointing last round. I mean, we got exactly the city. We like we knew exactly where it was. It's just where's the university? That's gonna like I'll never find it. Like, what would, what would the little symbol be for university? Man, there's a lot of hospitals. Um, oh, it'd be like this, right? Like this Baruni University? I don't think that's it. Is that what it was? Baruni? I'm going to put my marker down there just so I don't lose it. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Look at this. Look at this. Where'd it go? Istanbul University, Chorafa, blah, blah. Sorry, guys. I, I don't know how to say that. But there it is. Where is it? Where's the little pin for it? It's literally right there. Right. We got it. Got to be this. Oh, <gasps> what? Okay, we're, we're like two streets over. We're like two streets over. I, I'm, I can't be mad at that. Something's off there with the pins. I don't know why it was showing it up here. I guess this whole block, I think this whole thing is the university. Because it keeps showing like different little hats and stuff. So I think there's like this whole thing is the university. Oh, if I would have just looked around, here's the Fasuli, Locantasi, there. That's pretty good though. That's pretty good. We got really lucky on that. So let's view the summary here. 22,000 points. All right. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That's pretty good. We're just, we were literally guessing cities of the world. We got pretty darn good. So anyway, man, thank you guys for hanging out tonight. It's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, we only got a few viewers left, 25 here. So thank you guys for tuning in, man. It was a lot of fun. So I'm going to, I'm going to go, um, I guess I'll show real quick. I'll show you guys my drawing from tonight. So here's my drawing. I did earlier. Uh, I did an elephant drawing, pen and ink. So pretty cool, right? Turned out really well, I think. Oh, kitty jumped away. I guess she's scared of elephant. So yeah, Mary. I think uh, we'll be playing that like almost after every every stream. You know what I'm saying? We'll probably be. I'll probably be playing that this game a little bit at least. Maybe not this long, but you know, today's Friday, so we're having a little bit of fun. Um, I could stay on a little bit later, but there's some other games and stuff I have that we can try out. There's a lot of fun, cool things to try out different things. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, man. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Had a fun time drawing, uh, the next one, maybe I'll do some painting next time and uh, we'll play some more GeoGuessr and stuff and other little quizzes, you know, we'll do some like country flags. We'll try to like, you know, do some other interesting things. So. Take care of yourself, guys. Have a good weekend. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you later. Peace.